So guys, when you open up that large box that was delivered at your door, what you're gonna find is seven smaller boxes that are the sub-assemblies we were talking about before and a nice set of instructions. The instructions address the components as these uh, sub-assemblies, which are denoted just by a letter, A, B, C, etc. So when we go through an individual step where you're gonna talk about a box and all you gotta do is find the related box. Let's go ahead and dive into assembly process. Go ahead and clear these boxes off of your workstation and we're gonna uh, talk about which boxes we need and tools for the individual first step. If you open up the manual, the first assembly point that we have is step 2.1.1. And what we need is box G for that. Box G is full of all your individual hardware, a lot of nuts, screws, and bolts uh, in this particular bag. So what we wanna do is just pull out exactly what we need for this step. Let's go ahead and go through that. So in this step, we're gonna be assembling the Z-axis anti-backlash rolled lead screw. Now a rolled lead screw is a lot nicer than a standard piece of all thread that some uh, cheaper printers use. And what they do is actually roll the top of this and it makes for a very smooth transition for the nuts to write on it. Problem is, is a normal lead screw, if we just had an individual nut on it, as the screw is turned one direction, which is normally attached to a platform to move something, so this would be stationary and it moves back and forth, as it rotates one direction and stops and goes the other way, you're always gonna have a little bit of play because of the natural threads. What an anti-backlash does is take two of those with a spring load in between those, so as it transitions back and forth, it takes care of that slop or that play, which is critical on a piece of CNC equipment. We need very exact tolerances and we need to know exactly how much it moved. And the only way to do that is take care of what's called that backlash or that play in that system. And that's why this particular printer uses anti-backlash rolled lead screws. So let's go ahead and jump into the assembly process and you'll kind of see how it uh, operates. So of course we're gonna need the lead screw, we're gonna need the housing, we're gonna need our two brass, we'll call them nuts, and a spring that goes in between those two. Now, if we take a look at the manual, it lays it out and we have our numbers uh, very clearly printed here and those were in our box G. So first thing we're gonna need is the thick collar. If I hold up these two nuts, you're gonna see one is a little thicker than the other one. So we're gonna go ahead and just grab this. It doesn't matter which side we put, top or bottom. And we're gonna grab our housing and that just sits right into the housing on the top side. Now, this is gonna bolt to the bottom of the print platform, so that's what's gonna hold this uh, nut in on the top side. So go ahead and just put your finger over that and roll it upside down. What we need to do then is just drop the spring into the bottom and take the thinner, smaller brass collar washer and put it right into the bottom of the housing. And you're gonna see that now that is preloaded into the bottom. There's a uh, little break inside this housing, so even though I'm pushing up on the spring, this isn't being forced up right over here. So what happens is this nut is being pushed against the threads on both sides between this nut and this nut, and it preloads them, uh, creating a slop free. So as this rotates back and forth, there's no play into the system. Now, the tricky part is to get the proper preload onto the lead screw itself. If we make the preload too tight, it's gonna bind and create a little uh, too much drag. If it's too loose, we lose the whole uh, advantage of the anti-backlash. So how we do that is we're gonna go ahead and just put the uh, rod on in and thread it up. Before we do that, let me denote something that's right here in the manual. There is a top and a bottom to this rod. Um, if we take a look at the rod, there is a thinner or smaller collar here and a thicker collar onto the bottom. This goes towards the bottom. The one that we're uh, looking at right now is the smaller of the two shafts right over here. That's the one we're gonna thread up from the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and just insert that right on in. I'm gonna just go ahead and start threading that in. And it should thread in real nice and smooth. What's gonna happen is you're gonna fill it, start to thread into the, the top collar. Back that off a little bit. And what I want you to do is push in on the spring. So we're gonna preload it. When you push in, what I don't wanna see is this collar pushed all the way in below the level of the plastic itself. We want this brass collar just barely loaded. Uh, this is a pretty stiff spring. So we're just gonna want it exposed just a little bit onto the outside. Then go ahead and start threading that in. It's gonna catch uh, a thread point and just follow that thread all the way on through. You should be right away be able to push this and it's preloaded and it's gonna pull this all the way to the back point. If there's a little play in there, uh, just do it again until that collar is preloaded properly. But uh, you should be left exactly like this, where there's a little bit of brass, it's still exposed onto the bottom. But if you let go of it, it gets a hard snap where this uh, collar is pulled against the bottom of that base plate right there like that. And that's perfectly preloaded. You're gonna feel a slight bit of drag because of that spring holding those two nuts uh, against each other, but it should feel extremely smooth, no, no binding in that process. And there you go, there you go. That is an anti-backlash rolled Z-axis lead screw. Let's go ahead and jump on to the next step. 
So here we are, we're at step 2.1.2. In this assembly process, we're gonna be taking the anti-backlash lead screw that we just uh, assembled and attaching it to the print platform. We needed to get a couple things. We needed to get some uh, 153 screws out of box G that we have already opened up and you need to open up box B and get the print platform on out from there. As far as tools, you're just gonna need the two millimeter hex driver and it's a real simple process, a really uh, short step. All we're gonna be doing is taking the lead screw, sliding it right up from the bottom and putting in those screws right in from the top side. Orientation of where this sits uh, makes no, no, no difference on that, so just go ahead and get that lined up and drop your screws on in. When you tighten them up, before you tighten them all the way, make sure all three are seated because obviously if you put one in and tighten it up, these other two are not gonna line up in that process.